Hey everyone. So I've been getting a lot of requests for some more YouTube tutorials on um, basic acrylic painting, um, quick canvas ideas. So I'm gonna do a quick Christmas uh, canvas idea. It's gonna be fun, easy, and I hope you all try it. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm using 11 by 14 regular stretch canvas. I've got a little wave in this one. It was, uh, something was laying on it, but that'll come out once we start painting on it. Um, we're gonna start the background. I'm using a three quarter inch uh, flat or glazing brush. Getting some water on my brush. Um, on my palette, I have brown, beige, yellow, and white. Your colors, uh, whatever brand you wanna use, I'm using just a mixture of acrylic paints I've picked up locally at um, craft stores. All right, so I'm gonna start in with some of that beige and white right here in the middle. And I'm just, if I get a little speck of paint, and I'm just being very, very wispy with this. A little bit more water, dab it off on my rag. A little bit more beige, because I'm wanting that beige to kind of fade out into the yellow. Okay, so then I'm picking up some yellow. And I know that looks very bright, but it's gonna get toned down. And the water in my brush is actually really thinning out these paints uh, to stretch over my entire canvas. See where I put that beige? I'm just kind of going back over this. My easel's kind of rocking here a little bit. Okay. We just want this area just a little lighter. So I'm in a little yellow. to get my paints to stretch. There we go. All right. Don't neglect your edges. There's a lot of people who don't paint their edges, but I never frame my canvases, so I like to see that edge painted all the way around. So when I hang it just the way it is, it's a finished, finished painting. All right, let me get that edge there. I'm gonna flip this around and get the other side. I just got some fingerprints there, that's okay. I don't get all crazy with my painting. Um, people are like, well, you're supposed to do this. Listen, it's art. You do it the way you wanna do it and don't let anybody tell you that you're doing it wrong. It's art. There's no right or wrong way. As long as you're creating and painting and having fun, all that's important. Picking up some more white on my brush just to lighten this area just a dab more. So that's going to be our focal point. I'm going to start kind of going to take a little bit of white here. Kind of make a kind of a spotlight if you would. And I'm going to blend that out into that background. That was easy enough. All right so I'm going to pick up some brown now. This is very wet. And I don't know if you can see the shininess on it, but it's very wet. And I'm wanting the, that edges like to darken in as it's coming in. So I'm just gonna start dropping in some brown. This is just like a dark caramel, um, maybe a burnt sienna, maybe. Um, I'm gonna lay it in the corners here. Still using that big brush, never washed it yet. I like building up all my collar and my brush. Bring some down this side here, down here in the corners. And I'm gonna blend all this, so it's not gonna stay like that. I'm gonna wrap this around my edge a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna start kinda of dragging that collar towards the center. Again, this is very, damp my canvas is and the more you go over it the more it'll blend I still want this focal point to stay so I don't want to drag that brown all the way into the middle but I want this edge here not to be um, harsh I don't want a harsh line there I want that blended 
And that's what we're trying to do here. Okay. I'm going to go a tad darker. Just, I want some movement in my painting. Movement, leaving brush strokes. Um, and I'm barely touching that canvas. And it's leaving these nice big brown chunks in there. And I'm going to flip my canvas again because I haven't got this other edge and I haven't got the bottom edge. Oh, got my thumb in there. That's all right. And I'm going to get this edge here and get that blended in there. All right. I'm going to paint my brown down the side a little bit just so everything matches across my top. In this painting, now that we have it where we're at right here, you want to decide which is your top and which is your bottom, okay? Once you've rotated it a few times, you like how it's setting. Once you see what the final painting is, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Although the title will give it away on the YouTube uh, tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my brush now because I'm pretty happy with that background. Because it's not really our focal point. It's gonna be in the foreground as our focal point. So just wash your brush really good and I'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna come back in a few and I'm gonna tilt this this way. I'm gonna come back in a few and uh, I'm gonna give this a quick dry. I'm gonna dry it with a blow dryer. You can let it dry on its own or you too can use a blow dryer. See you in a few. Okay, so welcome back. I've got this good and dry now. I've added uh, black and burnt umber, dark brown to my palette. I still have that white, light brown, yellow, and beige on there. We're gonna start on our theme of our uh, painting here, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. Feel free to draw it on before you want to uh, paint it, but I really never do that. So we're gonna just have at it. I'll move this back around so you all can see what I'm doing. Okay, actually I'm gonna flip this. I like this top better than the bottom there. So, all right, so I'm going back into that light brown and I'm using my medium round brush. It's a, actually a number six, I believe it is. A seven, actually it's a seven. And it's a round um, and I'm going into that light brown and dark brown and it's a smidge of black. I put it all on the brush together because when you paint it, it'll all blend together, okay? So I'm gonna start right in here somewhere and I'm just gonna start making a tree, okay? And I'm going back over that line. I'm just being kind of erratic here as far as what the branches look like, okay? Anybody guess yet? Oh, you know what it is. And then I'm gonna bring this one kinda over. I'm gonna bring, and I kind of roll my brush. I tend to roll my brush when I paint trees or branches just to get that fine point. And then I'm gonna come up here. Oh, and give a, probably another little one here and come off here and off of here and probably one right in there or something like that okay so i'm going to work on this bottom just a smidge all right so now we're going to take that light brown actually i need to bring it down just a little bit notice i made my base a little wider because don't trees get wider at the bottom However, this one is gonna have a little bit of a platform. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just turning that brush and I'm making like a piece of wood, the old like cross style wood that little trees set on that you buy, you know, in a Christmas tree farm. Are we guessing now? All right, so I'm gonna do it something like this, and then I'm bringing this board towards us, okay? A little wider here, maybe a little bit further down. And see, I'm just winging this, 
It's painting. It ain't supposed to be perfect. Okay. All right. Something like that. All right. Now we need to make that look more like wood. I mean, it looks like wood, but I'm going to pick up a little white or a little bit of that, even some of that little tan. I've never washed my brush. I still have the brown in my brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that darker burnt umber. And I'm just going to start adding some streaks in here to make it look like wood. Okay. This is very, very loose. I'm going to just wipe off my brush a little bit. I'm picking up a little black. All right. Just putting in some lines, you know, like an old palette. What an old palette would look like. Okay. We're not going to get too hyper focused on that. I'm going to wash my brush now. And we're going to, I'm going to get on my palette now some greens. I want, um, like a, this is a Christmas green. How appropriate. I'm going to get on some lighter green, which is, this is a, uh, it says it's a holiday green, but it's more of a Kelly green. Okay. And I'll show you here in a minute. And then I'm going to pick up. Actually, I think that's all I'm going to work with because I've got yellow and stuff on my other plate. So this should be enough. We're going to start forming um, needles, pine needles, okay? I'm going back and I'm using that same brush. Now, by all means, you can use a smaller brush uh, for pine needles. And I can tend to get the pine needles small with my seven but if you need to go to a smaller round by all means do so or a liner brush okay all right i'm going to try to move this a tad closer just so you can focus in on the uh pine needles i'm just going straight into the darker of the two greens um which was the holiday green or the christmas green and these pine needles come out from the branch now as i'm pulling out I'm going to try to keep this from bouncing. As I'm pulling out, I'm doing some kind of erratic, crossing over each other, um, and they're coming right over the brown of that stem, okay? And it's okay if that, this tree's still wet, and that's all right. It's pulling some of that brown up into the needles. That's absolutely fine. It's automatically shading them for us, okay? Okay, so then we'll pick up some of that light green and start putting some of that. Now, it's not light enough for me, so I'm going to pick up yellow, put it in with my green, and I'm making almost like a Grinch green now, this, this really, like, lime green, and I'm going to start, there we go, I'm going to start putting some lighter ones in there amongst the, amongst the dark ones, okay? I'm gonna repeat on all my branches. And I'll show you again. Um, we just want these bristles kind of looking, this little tree has seen its better days, okay? It's just, I'm pulling these out, crossing over each other, right, something like this. Pick up my light green that I made, drag it in here. All right. Again, going to repeat. I'm going to all the way out up down here. I just want, I want these kind of, um, I don't know, just a little, just like this one's out here. Like this poor little tree has seen its better days. Okay, it's missing pine needles. We're gonna draw pine needles on the floor of this. Um, you don't want these too bushy. We want this tree looking like it's dying. Well, or it has seen its better days. Let's just put it that way. Okay, here's another one. Back into that dark green. One up here, pulling a little bit. This little branch up here is kind of sad. Pull a little bit here. Let them cross over each other. That's what gives you dimension. Makes your eye see those behind it. Okay, we'll pick up some lime green. Okay, we're getting our tree, paint it up. 
Got one more little branch over here to do. And I'm not even touching the branch on some of those. That's all right. It's a pine tree. I'll bring some of those down and pick up. All right. So I'm happy with that. How fast was that? Okay. By all means, if you want to go back and do um, some darker color in there just to give create more dimension, um, I can go in here. I'll, I'll take some of that brown. I'll just show you real quick. Mix it with the darkest green, and I'm going to take a smidge of black just to make a really, really, really dark, like, army green. And you can go in here and create more dimension. See there? Just... See if you can see that a little bit better. I'm going to go in here and just pull a few of those dark ones. They almost look black, but they're it's really a dark green. And roll my brush into that paint just so. Just so I just got enough of a little bit of edge on that brush or a point and edge. I'm not using a flat, I'm using a round. All right, so there we have, I'll wash my brush. There we have our pine needles, okay? Leave that green mixed up because we'll be coming back um, shortly and adding in more pine needles that's fell on the floor. Um, we're gonna kind of go concentrate now on an ornament. So I'm going to get some red. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to load up my palette with some red and blue and a couple other colors. We'll be right back. All right. So I've moved you in just a tad uh, closer to my canvas, just so you can see that I've got a little bit of a glare. I'm going to pick up my camera here and bring it up here and let you see, see the dimension in the, in the bristles there in the pine needles. Okay. Set that back down there. We're gonna be working in this area right here. And all we're doing, I've got red. I put some red and some true blue on my uh, canvas. I am going to paint a round ornament, okay? You can draw that on first if you like. Let me get it. I want a nice and solid red. Again, you can wing this. And if your circle keeps getting bigger and bigger, you're in luck because unfortunately, this ornament is too big for this tree anyways. And I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna turn this just around for a second and straighten up my ornament. Reaching over there is a little hard. Aha! Now we've got our ornament. I'm picking up just a smidge of white. Never washed my brush. Left that red on there. I'll put that smidge of white to highlight. I'm just going to kind of go over it a little bit on that side. Told you this is a very fast painting. And if it got too pink on you, you can always go back in with a little red. All right. I'm going to wash my brush. Now the top of the ornament <clears throat> is, you can either make it gold, you can make it whatever. I'm gonna use a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow just to kind of make a dingy gold, but it's not metallic. And all I'm doing is making a little square at the top of that. And I'm using that same brush. I've never switched brush, brushes as far as um out of my round i've used the same size round okay so now we have a little cap on our ornament and i'm going to pick up just a little bit of black and a little bit of white making a light gray on my plate and i'm just going to bring up a hook simple as that can't really see that hook at well but it's there i might highlight it a little bit with some white there 
Now you can see it. Washed my brush really good, and I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more white highlight there. Wipe off my brush, pick up a smidge of black. And I'm talking very little black. And I'm just gonna bring that in around the edge there, like it's reflecting off of the floor. All right, so that's done. Ornament's done. So we're gonna focus in this area now. Can anybody guess what we're gonna do? I'm going straight into this true blue, and it's like a dark denim blue. All right. And literally, I'm going to be, since my tree's already dry, I'm going to be bringing in Linus's blanket. Yep, you guessed it, Linus's blanket. We've got to paint this blanket like it is wrapped around this little tree, keeping him all comfy. All right. So once we get the blue blankie, that's what we call it, the blue blankie, wrapped how we want it, you can pick up some white and start making what looks like folds in the, because he, his blue blanket is a little light But you can see I'm not getting too crazy with it here. I mean, it's just eye candy, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's kind of an illusion. I washed my brush a little bit because I picked up some of that brown underneath. But that's all right, because my stand wasn't that dry. And I'm gonna pick up a little black with that blue on my brush, just to make a fold in there. And it's a little dark for me, so I'll go with some blue over it. And I love acrylics because you can fix almost anything. Okay, I'm going to do the same little fold over here. I'm picking up some blue and black. Like that. Of course, it needs to be a little darker down inside, so I'm picking up some blue and black as well there. All right, I'm going to wash my brush one more time. And then I'm going to highlight it just a bit with some white, just... Again, this is a very easy painting. Okay. I'm gonna we'll scoot this back a tad. And you can kind of see what we got going on here. So not only do we have Charlie Brown's Christmas tree with Linus's blanket, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of white here and I'm using my brush almost flat. I've kind of flattened out my round. And I'm just kind of making more lines in that board. And I'm gonna go over here with that white. A little bit more white since my bulb is kind of dried here. Highlight a little bit more there. Might highlight some brown. I wash my brush. I'm going into a little bit of, doesn't matter which brown. I'm gonna highlight one side of, or darken one side of that ornament, and then take a little bit of that buttermilk color, that beige, and just make like a highlight on that ornament topper. Okay, so the painting could be done at this point. I mean, look how fast that was. But I'm going to put a quote on it, and I'm going to use a paint marker to do that. I'm going to probably put a quote down in here. And I'm going to stop the um, video, do that, because I have to lay it flat. And then I'll come back and show you the final okay, product. So, okay. unfortunately, my camera is backwards, but it says, unto you a child is born. And that's just a quote from scripture from Linus as he's telling us the true meaning of Christmas. And we all know the true meaning of Christmas, and that's Christ our Savior. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. But one last step. I'm going back in with my greens. And I'm going to put some pine needles I wanted to put my words down here first before I did the pine needles, um, just so I didn't go down too far with the pine needles and not leave myself any area for words. I tend to do that. 
Oh, just something like that. I'm gonna put a few right there. And there it is. I'm gonna sign this one. I'm gonna get me a Sharpie. Sign my name down in the corner. And I'm gonna turn the camera around in a minute. And show you the finished product in the right path or in the right way. And there we are, finished, fast. Um, by all means, you could do the background any other color. I just love the golds and the browns together. And I used a brown paint marker. These are Sharpie brand. They're an oil-based. Um, you can get them at most craft stores, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, AC Moore. Walmart even carries them. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, please remember the reason for the season and keep painting. Have a blessed day. Mando out.